So hey everyone, today I'm going to share complete roadmap to become clinical SaaS programmer in 2024. I already made a video in 2023, but a lot of things has been changed in 2024 and that's we're gonna discuss. Now let's talk about the very first point, why people are looking for this job role or why people are choosing this job role. The reason behind this is salary, growth, work-life balance, stability, and global exposure. These are the reasons because of people choosing this role. Now, if this sounds good to you, let's talk about the second point, like what are the educational requirement to become clinical SAS programmer? So if you belong from statistics, mathematics, life science, pharmacy, or any engineering background, you can pursue this role or you can prepare for this role. The minimum requirement is graduation, but if you have done masters, that is an add-on for you, plus point. Now let's move to the third point, skill requires to become clinical SaaS programmer. So you should must know SaaS base, SaaS advanced, SaaS clinical. In SaaS clinical, you should know all those things like protocol, CRF, mock shell, SAP. On top of that, you should know how to create SDM dataset, ADAM dataset, because these four are the major output, SDM, ADAM, table listing. Now, apart from this, these are the must skill which I have told you now, but if you have R and Python knowledge, that is a plus point for you, okay? The chances will be more that you'll get selected on this role, but yeah, it is not mandatory, okay? The first thing we have discussed that SAS base, advanced, clinical, those are the must required skill. And R and Python is an add-on. Now let's talk about the fourth point, training versus self-learning. Now, if you want to learn about this role or if you want to pursue this role, you have to take training or you have to learn from somewhere, right? Either from the training institute, either by your own. If you are planning to learn by your own, you can prefer websites like Listen Data, SAS Crunch, and you can find a lot more website. But these two, I know. On top of that, you can check many channels are there on YouTube where you can get free videos. The only problem by learning yourself is that the things are unstructured. You start the process, but you never end the process. Out of 100 people, 95 people will end up not completing this process. Only five or 10 people will complete this learning. Now let's talk about the training institute. So let's suppose if you are taking training from training institute, so the fees will vary from 40K to 2.5 lakh. And as per your convenient, as per your flexibility, you can choose the fees and the training institute. Now, you should make sure while choosing training institute that you should not choose a training institute which is promising you 100% placement because no institute can give you 100% placement. Believe me guys, I have done counseling to almost each and every student who have taken training from different training institute. So I know this is clearly a lot of training institute are promising that they can give you placement. Even I know there are connections type. I believe these are correct thing that one person can have connections. Okay. But even in that case, there is no possibility of 100% placement. Okay. On top of that, if you are taking training from training institute, the only benefit is things are structured. They have a proper knowledge. So they give you the proper knowledge. And once you start the training, you can even complete the training because everything is timelined. Everything is structured. You get some guidance as well from the trainer. And guys, one more thing that is very important. I have recently launched a batch clinical SAS 2.0. So we are already giving the clinical SAS training from last three years. In that we are giving training on base SAS, advanced SAS, clinical SAS, interview question solving and base SAS exam preparation. We are also giving training on project. Many things are there, communication building sessions are there. But recently we have launched clinical SAS 2.0. In that clinical SAS things are already there. SAS base, advanced clinical project, base SAS exam preparation, solving interview question. On top of that, we are giving training on R as well and Python as well. So this is new clinical SAS plus data science. So on top of that, SQL and Power BI is also there. So if you are interested, you can connect to me regarding this. Now let's move to the next point that is training and placement. So the training institute can give you a complete knowledge, but the placement is not in their hand as we discuss. Even they are promising you don't believe on it. Just only believe from where I can get good training. Okay. So if they are able to give you good training, that is more than enough for you. Okay. As per my knowledge, but if you are joining a institute on the basis of they'll give you the placement, you will end up 90% of time that you will end up with demotivation or you will lose your hopes okay better to be clear from the beginning itself now let's talk about the time so the course duration from anywhere if you are learning the clinical SAS role it will take around three months to five months a maximum and the getting job or placement part will take another four to five months 
so in short let's suppose four to five months of training and four to five months of getting job so in short it can take up to a year so the process can be completed within six months as well like training plus placement but it is not sure let's suppose a training can be completed within a span of three to four months but the placement part is not in your hand or not in anyone's hand okay there is a placement cycle and i already made a separate video on that so you can go and watch so let's suppose in three months some interviews are there another three months are empty no interviews are there so that's why we have reserved another four to five months for placement it will take time four to five months for training so in short it can take up to a year but yeah i believe in good cases if hirings are continuously going on your case can be closed or you can get a job within six seven eight months as well now a lot of people have this question should we complete basis certification or it is mandatory to get basis certification guys to get basis certification is not mandatory a lot of my students are working in the company without basis certification but it's an add-on if you are having basis certification then the chances will be little more to get interviews let's suppose uh, your 20 percent or 30 percent chances will increase to get interview there is nothing to do with the selection for selection it totally depend upon your interview in the getting interview part the process will be little bit boosted now at the end guys i believe you might have many questions so you can connect me through one to one counseling session you'll find a link in the description as well and in the channel about section as well for any guidance you can connect to me for learning or if you have already completed your training or anything okay in general so guys i have covered most of the major points but if i have missed any of the points you can ask me in the comments and i'll try to answer if it is needed i'll try to create separate video on that topic for now let's end this video thank you everyone and bye bye everyone